and salutations and welcome to what is finally the dlc content the foundation as we've completed 100 percent of the main mission 100 percent of the side missions along with a few extra quests um we also just finished up in the last episode what a mess and that was quite a side mission and so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the foundation as we need to go talk to the board so let's go ahead to the director's office and so for those that followed through the series thank you thank you thank you really appreciate it, it man what a series this game actually really caught me by surprise the uh, director's office toggle map uh, let's head on down this way and it's just turned out to be a really awesome series and so i believe yes this is where the hotline is so welcome everybody and let's get on with the Even dlc content was a dream i feel darling reached out to me through the hotline i have a feeling he and trench won't be the only callers from the beyond hmm. Uh-oh, on the Foundation. Crisis. We demand your attention, Moxie. Oldest house is in danger. We open the door, tree, and maintenance. Hurry, post haste. Problem in the Foundation. Hmm. That was Ati's vacation spot. We need to check this out. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited to finally get to a, a point where we are um, heading into the new DLC content. Well, honestly, I never did look back. And you know, that's me. I can't help myself, but I love to explore. Yeah, we've been down through here. Okay. That open crate is definitely a clue. So, yeah, we're going to try to fast travel to... Central Executive. And hit up the fast travel over here. I see that Arish is still around, so I don't know if he has another like side quest to do. Did not see this file here. Hmm. Federal Bureau of Control television show proposal based on the success of America Overnight. We would like to propose the creation of a television series that presents superstition and skeptical thoughts as entertainment in order to populize these concepts among the civilian population and create a less resistance to redirecting information regarding public paranatural events. We can also use solid media outlets to test paranatural concepts on civilian audience audiences. Seeing how they react to certain facts presented as fiction, in the event, the Bureau ever decides to make certain realities public knowledge. There are various show licenses that we could purchase and reboot rather than starting from scratch. One particular property seems promising, especially considering its content and tone are precisely what we're looking for. It's called Night Springs and has been off the air for a few years now. Hmm, that is fascinating. That is good backstory right there. Hmm. Okay. What a fucking day. Uh, I'm tempted to talk to Arish, but I don't want to get s distracted from the main mission here. So we are going to, I think we're going to go ahead straight to the foundation. Perk. Quiet. Transdimensional. This place really suits Ati. Hmm. So that etching is the door. Okay, let's try opening it. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, and this is our first time going through this door, so... Yeah, seriously, welcome everybody. No time for sightseeing. The board said this was an emergency. Yeah, and we have uh, more of that red sand that Dr. Casper was so protective about. Hmm. And what's kind of highlighted in, for me, what Hopefully was the second to last part. Um, before completing the main story. Kind of brought things to an end. Hmm. What are these guys here? Hmm. The crystals are kind of pretty. Emily would be having a field day down here. You know me, I'm looking for crates. So. And of course, any backstory that we can get or glean um, from this. Speaking of which. My life's been a strange My life's been a strange one. Certainly stranger than I'd like. But this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither, it's a shifting pit. On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. Ash. Huh. But no one does. How did we miss it? Northmore. Acting director Northmore now is on a train from Washington. He'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that I'm at least trying to understand. Father searched his entire life for something like this, and we find it one week after he's buried. He always hated irony. Of course, Father, the great director, Ash, would have been the first man in. And look at me, his bookworm son, the supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. Hmm, interesting. Certainly stranger than I'd like. Hmm. But this place. So interesting backstory because we had director Trench. And so I wonder if director Northmore. The foundation. Bottom wow. of the oldest Miss house. Marshall. Stop the hiss. Marshall? How is she on the hotline? Hmm. Unless she's dead. <sighs> Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything. Wow, crazy. So we got lots because, you know, I I think after the HRE puzzle that um, we saw no more of Miss Marshall. So, but yeah, back to Northmore. That's interesting because I guess um, he precedes Director Trench and obviously we precede him. So, yeah, more interesting backstory. Hmm. Shifting fragment, that is a new material. And we got, well, let's go up here and get this crate, of course. Because who knows? I mean, maybe they got some new. Like a weapon mod, charge velocity boost. I have not seen that one either. Hmm. Research site Delta. And definitely want to. Thank you. I don't know what, what the delay was. Sorry, I was just trying to uh, shift weapon forms there. And I see the gold crate over there. 
problem with that is hmm, get over on the rock ledge here and the no none of these ledges work at all no bueno okay okay we gotta come in through that backside i'm guessing More baddies. Hmm. This is shifting red mist here. Not sure I'm a fan. And I don't know if you guys saw, but there was a dude that ran across the bridge up there. That was crazy. Let's go ahead and get this control point. There he is. Oh, it was a hiss. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Well, oh, that's interesting that crate is like in crest, you know, stuck inside whatever these stalagmites are, I guess. I don't know. And. Hmm. Wow, they are indestructible. Hmm. Okay. that bridge is all about you can't get up yeah no these ledges are eye candy so weird yeah we got some hidden paths going on okay onwards and upwards my friends onwards and upwards got a file here On art and time. At first, I thought the cave paintings in the Foundation Chronicles ancient humans encountered with natural occurrences and weather, but it soon became clear that they depicted events far outside the average human experience. Also, it seems I was wrong to assume the images are ancient. Radiocarbon dating suggests that something impossible, that I've been down here longer than the paintings. Absurd, though. The style and medium clearly indicate Paleolithic origin. I was ready to conclude that an ancient community of humans lived in or around the oldest house. Now, with this information, I don't know what to think. Is one of our agents drawing these? <laughs> Are, or is this someone down here with us? This place has a habit of skewing my results, so perhaps the data is corrupted. Or perhaps some of the paintings were created at different times. The art does seem to chronicle not only the past, but also the present. And possibly even the future. It, I see in them echoes of the board, some linear architecture, even what could be interpreted as a director. Are the paintings telling a story that still is to be written? If so, who is writing this? Hmm. Ancient walls being tagged. Archaeological dig. Hmm. Hmm. I'd like to know what these crystals are, though. Oh, interesting. Well, that is not, not a good idea to be doing that. Speaking of 
crystals. that all about? Nice try, dude. First time trying out slam. Got it. Um, not a good idea if they blow up when you slam them. So let's um, keep that in the database. Yeah, pretty crazy so far. And hatchet wielding. Yes, that's crazy. What is this? I would see some sort of path back there. Wow. Okay. Lots to explore. Yeah. I don't know what those are, so I'm not going to be mucking about with those. Come on, check this out up here. Okay. I mean, let's, we have that one path back there. Another one of these weirdo rooms. That's another crate. Yeah, and you cannot. Okay, good to know. Got another path there. Yeah, just trying to take it all in. <laughs> yeah, make sure we don't miss things like this. Correspondence, Federal Bureau of Control, Mr. Wildler. I have some bad news. Do you remember that Roberto Ricardo fellow who brought in a special consultant to map the lower caves? Well, today he found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls and strange black pillars in the center. Kind of looks like one of those crossroads, but similar. We had a bureau member shadowing him, but whatever happened in there did a number on our guests. The docs are taking a look, but it's pretty clear Mr. Adventure's exploring days are over. I know we were careful to limit the guy's exposure to non-ordinaries. Dragging him and carrying him through the upper floors was a real hoot, by the way. But we really need to reevaluate our policies on external contractors. Honestly, we'd be better off forming a special division trained in repelling and orienteering than subjecting more outsiders to the shit that we deal with. They always end up dead or loony. Marcus. That's the first time we've heard from Marcus. So, yeah, so far we're getting a new batch of characters floating around. This one we can open. Hmm. Yeah, and that's, I don't know if those are supposed to be like black rock crystals. Maybe. I'm guessing. The hmm. astral plane is cutting into our dimension. What if this happens in the upper floors? It will destroy the bureau. Hmm. 
Oh, this is interesting. Might as well thin out the herd before we get into the herd. From downtown, maybe? Oh, yeah. From downtown. Going. As they say, an ounce of prevention. Hmm. You just know there's going to be a new spawn coming up. Mm hmm. No. Crazy man, this stuff still actually amazes me sometimes. Yeah, and you know that's you know what's going through my mind is uh, figuring out a way up to that place up there. Let's go ahead and just. I wish I brought him with me. I could really use my head of research right about now. Yeah, because you know I want to check that out. But I am not seeing any platforms to jump off of. Mm. Still even then, yeah, that floating rock. I won't get high enough to that one. Hmm. Onwards and upwards. Marshall? Do what? Marshall! You're alive! Wow. Spectres. Wait! It's Jesse! The director! Ghost in the machine. Distraction. Interesting crystals there, huh? Yeah, it was something in the previous episode, uh, mold removal, man, and the, the light that was coming down from the ceiling in the coolant pump area, hiding the very last mold, one to be collected. Whoa. This place is huge. Welcome Marshall? to the crossroads. Can you hear me? She was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. Let's see what's going on with that pillar first. Mm, investigate the nail. Interesting ledge up there. like the highest point that I can get to. Odd that there's a rope sitting right there. Means absolutely nothing. Yeah, and you can't use these side ledges. They just uh, fall right down off them. Amazing. Let's 
check this one out. Research records on linolins and their energies. For all my research in the oldest houses, linolins, I still don't understand why they converge here at the base of this pillar. I suppose the simplest reason is that they have to converge somewhere. Occam's, Occam's razor and all that. Hmm, interesting. But that seems wrong. The esoteric world arbors coincidence. So what is the true relationship between this pillar and the Lenolins? Does it act as a magnet attracting them? Polar North? Or is it the pillar a product of their focused energy? A sprout nourished by the constant flow of the oldest house's power. Perhaps classifying that power would provide some insight. However, we currently have no means of measuring or quantifying it. Given time, it may become possible to collect and even harness this energy. On that note, Northmore is bringing in the much lauded Dr. Gustav Wagner from headquarters in DC to aid my research, air quotes. I suppose this is his way of saying he doesn't trust me to work unsupervised. Let's just hope Dr. Wagner's as smart as his dearly departed Fuhrer once be believed him to be. Dr. Wagner, Wagner? I'm coming for you, Dr. Wagner. I've created a new maneuver. Yes, it's called the Heimlich Maneuver. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe you guys know that comedy skit. You know what that means. From Eddie Izzard. Oh, we found that great. Yes, Dr. Heimlich. Nothing else. It's been five days since it's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to the shifting, but we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable, which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery. A pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. Mm. Seems like something out of a storybook, except the heroes usually find swords, not handguns. But it is the perfect lure for someone like him. Oh, and for us. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me to spout some nonsense about how the board had made him the director he ran it about the title being meaningless before now calling father and all other previous directors shams frauds and worse i think this place is worse for northmore than it is for me strangest thing there was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago this building has swallowed a dozen of my men, and now it's handing out presents? Is it playing some sort of game? If it is, we're most certainly losing. Oh, we don't even know the rules. Hmm. We first entered the building. Interesting and the interesting. The interior is dangerous. So this pillar that he's talking about, base camp. What the hell are you talking about, dude? Hmm. I, we might be going down there to explore. But I wanted to give this a... Wow. Hmm. It looks like there's an end to this over there. Wow. Okay. I wonder. What do we got here? Uh, on the nature of the pillar, the pillar found in the crossroads is best described as an onyx spike that protrudes, protrudes from the cave's floor like an imposing stalagmite. Despite its aggressive silhouette, the structure has an undeniable allure. Freud would certainly have something to say about the pillar's overly erect nature, 
but I'm more drawn to Whitmore's essay on dynamic layers, structures within structures, the fractal mirror in every being. Given its significant location, I believe the pillars is either the very heart of the oldest house or an intrusion within that heart. Or perhaps it's like the husk of a seed from which the oldest house sprouted. Pratier wrote the great architect <laughs> great architecture isn't built, it grows. But then why does the pillar look so different from the rest of the place? Concrete walls and rocky caverns. It's easier to see it as an anomaly, buried artifact, or foreign body, a demonic, demonic phallus. I wonder if the pillar is any more welcome here than we are. Interesting. And alludes to uh, individuals' gentleman bits. Mm, monolith is hurt. Torch revered it to enter. Do what? And the stuff is just crazy and crazy. Mm, link prevent astral consumption collision. This is the director's duty slash plot. Authorize for a single new tool or upgrade. Use it to save the foundation, us, Bureau. Explore the astral plane challenge. Left, self, right, weapon. Only one is permitted. Which will you choose become? So I can only choose one? I thought I was done with these tests. Hmm. Well, you got the big ones and you got the little ones. Wow. And there was actually two. Oh, there is. It's still standing there. And another guy standing there. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, so you got your choice of embedded rock, it looks like. Um, eh, do you want the big ones or do I want the small ones? It's interesting. Because it seems like the obvious choice would want us to take the big ones. Because they're big. But I think the little ones will... Uh, there was a lot of blocked walls with this type. Hmm. 50-50. Yeah, I still think they would just want us to take the big ones. So, let's get involved. I see. Okay, I thought these guys were gonna like... Go. Oh, I see. Where you can break them down. Interesting. So you can pull them. Then they break. I honestly think I'd rather pull them than just... I don't know if this is right or wrong. I have no idea. Let's see what they say. Will grant fracture. Alright, well then. Huh. Oh, they only gave you that one. We're going this route. We are tweaking, cultivating the ability. You. Mission updated. Complete astro plane challenge. Oh no, it's closed off. I see. Oh, oh. It stays there. So this will allow me to get up to the higher areas. 
Interesting. Yeah, like I said, I wasn't sure if I uh, made the right choice or not, but choice is made nonetheless. Hm. I was thinking actually you need to pull that wall up in the air. And that does break. Okay. Oh, she's got her head stuck in there. Hiss and are present in the foundation. Snooping is forbidden. Woof. That is. Instant death for those guys. That is crazy. That is pretty awesome. Whoa, this guy's pretty darn strong. special that was just in case there was something added bonus but nope but we can use this and just go ahead and buzz across over there and just make sure we do land on this platform I'm guessing if you don't you get to start all over again Incorporate that slam. It isn't like you get to go straight back down okay. with it. Well, let's review. Hmm. Two ability this points. This broken pillar oh. is called the nail. It was broken by something, and now the astral plane is bleeding into the foundation, which will destroy the oldest house, the bureau, and everyone inside. I need to find four locks or keys or whatever to stop that from happening but I'm the director I've handled worse this should be simple ish ish you with me barely but I think Polaris is with you and I that's probably all that matters hmm interesting 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 oh you cannot get up there it won't let you stand on top of the pillar Reach the warehouse path. Foundation warehouse path. Reach the base camp. Okay. We are going to try this cool stuff out with our new ability. As it begs us to. Um, my biggest question is. Hmm. Because we had those hidden rooms and um wow so 
So this actually does allow us to get back into this area here. Barely. But those will still block some of the other secret areas. Let's see, we need the second ability to get across there. That was a little dangerous. Hmm. Fascinating. Pretty cool stuff, man. And I think we should. Well, this is freaking weird. No. Wow, that thing like knocked me down. And should. I'm not too sure, so I won't risk it. Let's see if I can just go straight up here. No. It does not. Mm. Danger, danger. So you do have to proceed with caution through that sort of stuff. Mm. I didn't see that over there. Yeah, we would need the other skill to get through there. Yeah, and I don't know if um, we gain that skill later on or not. I don't know. Good question. You know but anyhow, quick game save. Um, we're going to take a pause for the cause right there. Um, wow. That's, uh, we are going to just begin to start exploring the foundation underneath. So, pretty cool stuff. Until then, my friends, I will catch you in the next episode in the new DLC content, The Foundation. And, uh, oh, on a quick note there, it appears that later on in the year, yeah, Remedy's going to be releasing another DLC content. Um, and this one will be another one that you pay for. Yeah, this, this, uh, one was $25. So, not bad. That's, I was curious to see if, you know, the $25 is going to be worth the content that they created. And, uh, yeah, definitely. Got some new hits. Got some new abilities. Definitely a whole new map. And, um, yeah. So, with that being said, I'll catch you on the other side. Peace.